go ahead and get started. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to, how to level the build plate for the Imaginator 3D. It's a fairly simple process and I'll walk you through it. Uh, make sure you have a, uh, get a, an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. You're going to want to set that up on top of your build plate before you get started. Next thing you want to do is reach under the bottom of the build plate and find your four thumb screws. And you want to tighten those up by about five or six turns to make sure that when the platform raises to the head that it doesn't engage the head because if that happens then it, it could possibly damage your nozzles. Alright, so if you look on the front of your Imaginator screen, you should have a menu that says preheat, utilities, and info and settings. Okay, you want to move your the cursor, the little arrow, down to Utilities, and then you push the center button. You select it, and then you'll have a menu that says Monitor, Change Filament, Level Build Plate, and that's the one you want, Level the Build Plate. do that, the head should move to the home position. Okay. And the reason you want to put this sheet in here first and, and use the whole sheet is because it makes it just makes it easier in, in the long run. So you should have uh, a menu on or a, a command on your screen for your Imaginator 3D. It says find the four knobs on the bottom of the platform and tighten four or five turns, and you should have already done that. Okay, now it says, I'm going to move the extruder to various positions for adjustment. In each position, we will need to adjust two knobs at the same time. Nozzles are at the right height when you can just slide a sheet of paper between the nozzle and the plate, grab a sheet of paper to assist us. In each position we will need to adjust two knobs at the same time. Nozzles are at the right height when, when you can just slide the sheet of paper between the nozzle and the plate. Grab a sheet of paper to assist The next command is adjust the front two knobs until the paper just slides between the nozzle and the plate. So there's two thumb screws in the front of the, um, underneath the plate you'll find two thumb screws and you want to adjust those until the paper is just a little bit, just a little bit snug, okay? If the paper is too tight, then you'll want to tighten the screws. And if the paper is too loose, then you'll want to... If it's too loose, you want just like, like right now, see this is a perfect, I can just have a little bit of friction. So if it's too loose, you want to unloosen the screws. If it's too tight, you want to tighten the thumb screws in the front, okay? So after that, we'll push the center, the center button. Move to the next 
next position. And the command is adjust the back two knobs until the paper just slides between the nozzle and the plate. So we'll repeat what we just did, but we'll just do the, the two thumb screws that are in the back. Okay. And again, if it's too tight, you want to tighten the screws. If it's too loose, you want to loosen the screws. Okay. And we'll punch the center button again and we'll move to the next position. This time it's going to change. We're going to, we're going to adjust the right two knobs until the paper just slides between. It's a little bit tight, so we're going to tighten these up a little bit. There we go. And we'll move to the next position. Okay, this time we're going to adjust the left two knobs like, like so. Paper just slides through like that. And it's going to move to the center position. Okay, it's a little bit tight. So, but it's 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 good to go. Okay, once you do that, take the paper out, punch the button.